Hello, people, and welcome back to some more Metroid Prime 2 Echoes with Robert Link. Hello. So, one thing I forgot to mention in our last uh, last session was that, although I'm sure everyone noticed, the missile launcher also changes how it uh, opens up for the missile launcher, the arm cannon. Yeah. Wait, um, didn't it do that in the first one? In the first one, it opened up like... It just kind of... Like a oh. hinged. Oh, now, yeah, that's right. Now it just kind of opens up a little bit and goes back, I think. I actually kind of dislike that, but only because sometimes you want to shoot a missile and then shoot normal, but you have to switch it back to normal. Which can take, like, a half a second. Which can be surprisingly long. Another thing I thought about was when I first played this, because of how young I was and, you know, I didn't, it was my first Metroid game, wasn't sure what to do and all that. You know, it could take me hours to progress sometimes, but I didn't really care because it was new, it looked cool. You know, so I didn't mind going around, not sure what to do, just shooting stuff. Yeah. Oh, Brimstone. You're not actually going to read it? Hmm. Oh, you want me to? I can. But yeah, Brimstone, I'm pretty sure, is missile. At least in this case. Okay, those I've already scanned. What is that? Hold on. Let me get rid of these guys. Guys, gotten rid of. Statue composed of ordinary alloys and stone. Purpose unknown. Possibly placed as a warning to travelers. Hmm. Looks like some kind of giant worm. Oh my. I actually never caught on to that. Don't spoil anything. I'm not going to, but I just... <laughs> I... Wow. You'll, you guys will figure out later. Object scan complete. Solar lens modified for use as part of a Luminoth sonic security system. Lens is connected to a sonic control system. Sonic detection gear needed to interface with this system. Neutralizing the control emitter may affect the lens. Hmm. There's another one. Timber! Look, hey, look, I made a bridge. I don't think we can get these yet. Nope. Uh. Same with that door. You know, for lightning, that's pretty quiet. You'd expect lightning to be, like, super loud, like in real life. Hmm. Maybe the suit can, like, automatically filter n more natural noises? That's the only thing I can think of. I think you're coming up for, like, with excuses for something that's, you know, not really explainable. They just didn't think to do it or something like that. Yeah, basically. All right, so I'm pretty sure this is the way we need to go. Deeper into the Agon Wastes. Such a lovely place. And I do not have Morph Ball Bombs yet, so I can't do anything here. Aw. So yeah, we still have just the Missile Launcher, I think. Hmm. Ah. I, I was just thinking, I thought we met some new guys here. Yep, here they are. Well, new. Well, new face, same species, somehow. So yeah, these are the, spi the space pirates in this game. Morphology, pirate trooper, starfaring brigand. Aggressive, well-armed bioform, trained for combat and conquest. Sworn enemy of Samus Aran. So yeah, they look a bit different now. Huh. Didn't realize. I think they use the same uh, sound effects, though. Yeah, probably. Like for damage and dying. I never noticed that. This is a space pirate crate. Space pirates strangely dislike theft. <laughs> the only way into their crates is through the use of force. In case that it has the same skin. But yeah, <laughs> they're pirates, yet they dislike theft. Hmm. The rules for thee, but not for me. Pretty much. 
All right. So what are you? Morphology: Brizgy, venomous insectoid, poisoned stinger concealed in back-mounted shell. Finish it off quickly once the stinger is exposed. So I think this is only damageable with missiles. I think. I think so. Okay. And then yeah. And then you can just shoot it with whatever. Hmm. I don't think I need to go there yet. So I'll go this way. Okay. Another door I can't open yet. Gates constructed of luminoth des designed alloy. Scan data indicates that weapons of artillery grade or higher would damage anything made from this alloy. It's a bit heavy duty. Device is a component of a larger mining system and used to extract minerals from raw ore. Hmm. What's that thing? This is a statue of Dechur, the child hero of Agon. Once a lowly acolyte squire, he became a warrior when the temple was attacked. All warriors but D. Chur were slain, leaving the boy as sole defender of the temple. He served Agon for nearly a centicycle before being lost in battle on Dark Aether. Hmm. Hmm. It's a weird looking statue. Well, I mean, I guess there's a face there, but. Hmm. It looks similar to the Luminoth. Are you saying the Luminoth look weird? No, no. Uh, no, they're perfectly normal looking aliens. It'd be a shame if that thing fell the other way. <laughs> I was just thinking that like it looked like it was about to for a moment. Yeah. Like a whoops, we squished Samus. Well, I guess more accurately, Samus unintentionally squished herself. <laughs> oh. Morphology, Shriek Bat. Territorial Flying Rodents. Rapid flying, explosive enemies. Target and eliminate enemy at range if possible. Those are rodents? I guess so. Huh. And they seem to look different than they did in Metroid Prime 1, but they act the same. Yep. Alrighty. Ooh, this place looks special. This is the Temple of Agon, though it looks more like an arena. Or a coliseum, perhaps. Anyone out there? Hmm. What are you? Fat, uh, sand digger. Morphology, alpha sand digger. Large tunneling bioform. Ex extremely well armored. Target exposed eyes to damage this creature. As you wish. Hmm, I'm beginning to notice a trend here. Like, oh, you're fighting a mini boss? Here, let's uh, buff him up a bit. Morphology, bomb guardian, bomb dropping darkling. Enemy is usual. Enemy is. Mm, why is it so hard? <laughs> Enemy is utilizing your morph ball bomb unit. Although its armor is strong, its tail is exposed when moving. Its mouth can be hit when glowing. So apparently this is one of the guys that took some of our stuff. He's come back to possess a worm. But hey, it's his decision, not mine. But dang it, I want first crack at this. Samus. What is she fighting now? Oh. A big worm. Like, well, I'll take it. <laughs> like, screw it. Like, screw you, I don't even need to use missiles on you. You're not even strong enough to be worthy of my missiles. And 
Yeah, I missed. Yep. I accidentally jumped instead of side jump. Dang, you're making this longer than it needs to be. Gotcha. And that's one dead worm. <laughs> you interrupted my scan. How dare you? Yeah, that can wait. Where's my health? Okay, there it is. <laughs> Medium energy unit. Replenishes 30 units of energy. I'm... Okay, now... Morph ball bomb. Morph Bob I'm acquired. Good to have that classic weapon back. Object is composed of telluric alloy. Stress fractures detected. Structural integrity crit critical. Most likely needs Morph Ball Bomb. Yep. Makes sense since we just got it. And what is this? This is a Luminoth Temple Security Station. You have been cleared to access the station. Use the bomb slot to activate it and gain access to the Agon Energy Controller area. Okay then. So this should be the place where the energy was stolen from and taken to Dark Aether. Hmm. Actually, how would a new player know that they can just do that? Like, they have to deploy a bomb in ball form to jump up into it. I would have assumed they've figured it out some way or another. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it just occurred to me, there's no real tutorial for that. Oh, this looks semi-familiar. Yep. I want to scan the blue thing. There we go. This is an access point for the local energy system. The energy transfer module has been designed to interface with it. Once it has, all of the energy within the module will be channeled into the local system. Oh hey, it's a dead guy. Bio scan complete. Luminoth subject terminated 1.5 decacycles ago. Damage from multiple weapon systems detected. Subject definitely went out fighting. Luminoth Hollow Projector online. Automated message initiated. Welcome. I am Aisha, Sentinel of the Aegon Temple. That sounds like a possibly female name, I don't know, but I don't care. <laughs> this message survives my death as guidance to the one who would fight the Ing. A portal to Dark Aether lies nearby. With it, you can travel to this land's shadow. You must locate a dark temple, a twisted mockery of this sacred place. Inside you will find the energy controller you seek. The temple door is held fast by three locks. The keys for the locks are hidden throughout the dark world, or the dark land, sorry. Your search will be difficult. Even the very air of Dark Aether is dangerous, and can cripple the strongest of warriors. In our past struggles with the Ing, we placed a series of light crystals throughout their world. They remain today. These crystals create safe areas that will protect you from the harmful atmosphere of the Dark World. I have updated your translator module. You can access devices and doors coated with amber holograms. More lands are open to explore. When you have taken the... En when you have taken the energy from the Dark Temple, return here at once. 
May the light of Aether serve you well. Thanks for the energy. Wait, how did you do that? You're recording. <laughs> do you have like an energy replenishment system built into that? Alrighty, so now we can get amber holograms, and I think there's probably one in here too. Yep. Oh. I don't remember that. Saving Aether. Aether's planetary energy supply reached a critical stage. If left unchecked, unchecked, uh, if left unchecked, the energy would expire, bringing an end to the world. Our greatest minds devised a way to preserve and regulate the remaining planetary energy, the energy collectors, or controllers. Yeah. The energy controllers. Sorry. <laughs> Alrighty. Back we go. But now we have access to more areas. And the more fall. Bomb. Yes. These guys again. Ah, I missed one. You fool. That, like, five health is going to cost you. I like how these trees, it's like they're, you can just walk through them, and if you do, it's like, I'm blind. <laughs> uh, what kind of tree can you walk through? Like, what's it even made out of? Well, I actually didn't remember this stuff up Whoa. here. What? Well, it looks like it kind of blended into the skyline. Like, if you're not specifically looking for it. Magnetic rail system track detected. Rail system powered and active. Spider ball technology required to access track. Hmm. Yeah, that's something I didn't remember was there. Me neither. Security clearance approved. Door systems online. Through vigilance and strength, we create peace. Ouch. Don't shoot me. Were those guys new? No, they were in the... the uh, hold on. They were specifically in this room. Oh. Right, that was last session. Yep. Missile expansion. Thank you. I'll be taking that. All right, so before I move on, I think there's something else I can get this way now. Well, actually, probably two things. Oh. Because in... All right, you have the bomb, so you can get this. Yep. Whatever it is. Kaboom. Ooh. Energy tank. Definitely worth going back for. Of course. And then, I don't know if you recall, but over here there was also a translation door. Was it a door? I thought it was just a... There's also a scan, but there's also a door. Oh. There's a scan, and who knows what that is. Paradise. Aether was a fertile, aged world with bountiful fields and oceans. The, nature, or the native creatures were gentle compared to other worlds we had encountered. We settled in a mountain region at first, in cliffside dwellings. In time, we established settlements in the green forests of Torvus and the fertile plains of Agon. A great temple was built between our three domains, a place of peace and a monument to our accomplishments. It was a time of harmony for our people. Fertile plains of Agon. And hmm. the forest of Torvus, remember that. Hmm. I'll just scan it, even if it means going further. Okay. Object scan complete. This door uses a sonic security system. Sonic detection gear needed to interface with this system. Door is receiving commands via sonic beam. The commands are keeping it shut. Destroying the sonic beam emitters may open the door. Needless to say, we cannot 
figure out whatever that is at the moment. So oh, there's the door. Yeah. With the hologram. So I can jump over there from here. I guess I have to go around. Hmm. Yeah, not that way. It sucks not having double jump. Indeed. Hatch. Leave me alone. I can hear you firing at me. <laughs> I'm I'm not gonna give you attention. <laughs> it's very rude though. Alrighty. Okay, that's the yeah, same, right? Yeah, same thing. Yeah. There's a blue. Eroded rock section contains telluric alloy. Numerous fractures present. Boom. And oh. map room. Oh, I can scan this too here. Oh. Morphology, blue root tree. Highly poisonous plant form. Durable tree with venomous leaves found on several worlds in desert climate zones. Hmm. Good thing I'm protected from that poison. Yeah. I can even walk through the tree itself. <laughs> Somehow. All right. There's a lot unexplored now. Hmm. All right, back up I go. Hmm. All the way around. Alrighty, so from here, I believe I now need to go through that door that's up there. I already did it. It was a missile expansion. No, that was above. Oh, okay. Wee. Wee. It's like a freaking pinball machine. Oh, hey, another dead person. Luminoth subject terminated 1.9 decacycles ago. Target has a number of wounds caused by small explosions, most likely delivered by a portable rocket or grenade system. Hmm. I see that expansion. <laughs> you thought you could hide it behind a dead body? No, I will see it anyways. All expansions be are belong to us. Or will. As soon as we see them. How you doing? Dead? Sorry to hear that, but uh, hey, it's good for me. You opportunistic freaks. Oh. So as we can see now, they can possess more and more powerful creatures. Even sentient beings that are alive. Morphology, Dark Pirate Trooper. Darkling Possessed Space Pirate. Enhanced strength and stamina gained from addition of symbiote. Dislikes bright light. That sounds like a like some kind of a personality trait that's just <laughs> randomly stuck at the end. <laughs> it, does. It, does, it doesn't quite sound like it's pertinent the way they say it. Holy heck, they deal a lot of damage. Fine, missile. Oh, you actually take quite a bit. Oh, more missiles. Okay, what is this? Console used to energize and open a portal to Dark Aether. Currently offline. Restore power to the system to enable portal creation. Hmm. Well, we want to go to Dark Aether, don't we? Apparently. It's 
Industrial Solar Lens, part of a system used to open the portal to Dark Aether. What is that? Object is composed of telluric alloy. Structural integrity has decayed considerably. All right, let me get the last of the scans. Actually, I think there's one here, yeah. Oh, good memory. Light of Aether. The main energy controller was built in the great in the great temple. Three subcontrollers were built in the temples of Torvus, Agon, and Sanctuary. They collected the energy of Aether, then radiated it over the world to all who needed it. In time, we came to call this precious energy the Light of Aether. It brought an age of peace and prosperity to the Luminoth. Hmm. And that's the stuff that we got to steal back from Dark Aether. It's kind of interesting how they did the uh, menus with the way they like float around. Mm -hmm. the target is in a state of dimensional flux, unable to completely scan bomb slot target. 50% of its component atoms are in another dimension or on the surface of Dark Aether. Hmm. Weird. Can I walk through it? Yes, I can. <laughs> <laughs> Automated door system online. Door control governed by bomb slot. Control link seems to originate from Dark Aether, however. Who was in charge of designing this? Portal Dynamo offline. Configure lens system to focus solar power on Dynamo. This will energize the system. All right, now to use that bomb slot, which will probably work with those. Hmm. Although perhaps we should do it next time. Sounds good. All right, so we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs>